Today we're going to talk about proteins, and as you know from our organic molecules video, proteins are one of the four major organic compounds. Now, one of the biggest things with proteins is that they're made from nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So if you see a molecule within um, a living thing that they call an organic molecule, and it's made of all four of these, it might be a protein. Okay? Proteins are really important in our body. One of the major things that proteins do is control rates of reactions. This is important because we have rea chemical reactions occurring all the time within our bodies. They help regulate cellular processes. They make up different forms of the cellular structure. They help transport substances into and out of the cell. And they also help fight disease. So proteins are one of the major important pieces within our bodies. Without proteins, our body cannot survive. Notice one of the things I don't have on here is proteins do not provide energy for our bodies. They provide a very small amount, but that is not one of their major functions. Okay, these are the functions of proteins within our body. Now, as you know from our organic molecules video, monomers are the single units of, a, of any of the organic compounds. The monomers of proteins are called amino acids. Now, there are about 20 common amino acids within our body, and we'll talk about it later, but these amino acids get put together in forms um, from our nucleic acids, and then help basically do all the functions within the rest of our body. So, these 20 common amino acids make up all the proteins that are in our body, okay? by doing different shapes, forms, we'll get into that in a minute. So this is the structure of an amino acid. Every amino acid has four parts. You've got your central part, which has the carbon, the central carbon with a hydrogen coming off of the center of it. On one side, you have what's called a carboxyl group. This is a COOH group, okay? And this is called the carboxyl group. The other side, you have an amino group, the amino group is an NHH or NH2 group. And then the th third group coming off of the center is called an R group. And we use the term R because this group is different in every single amino acid. So all 20 amino acids have a different R group and that's how we identify the amino acids. When they join together in chains, one side's carboxyl group will join with the other side's amino group and we will form long chains of amino acids. Now, the monomers are known as amino acids, and the polymers are just specifically known as proteins. Proteins are the amino acid, are, are the polymers made up of amino acids. There's no special name for them. Now, these are the long chains of amino acids, so again, think back to the train, one train car would be an amino acid. All the train cars put together would be the protein. These proteins then get folded into lots of different shapes, and each of those proteins become basically a different protein. So we might have the exact same chain of amino acids, but if it gets folded in a different way, it's known as a different type of a protein, which would have a different function within your body, which would then um, which would then do something different, which is another reason why we can only have 20 amino acids that make up so many different proteins within our body.